bright wants to shine the brightest. Glitter, sparkles everywhere. And fly the highest on her big day. I'm thinking, is she going to come back? So what happens when four brides attend each other's weddings to decide which one is best? It's not like, you know, some sort of poochie choochie suit or something. Will they get what they want? I pray for food. <laughs> or more than they need. If I get any more food, I am going to puke. At stake is a breathtaking honeymoon to a surprise destination. Which of these brides will see her groom step out of the prize winner's limo? Find out after four weddings. <laughs> $60,000 to do things with a fresh and youthful approach. So this is the cake and the cupcakes. We actually weren't going to have a wedding cake, but a family friend asked if her daughter, Haley, could make the cake, and her daughter's 11. She's incorporating purples and golds to go with our color theme. And then on top of the cake, there's going to be bride and groom cupcakes. The bride has a veil, and the groom has a hat and a bow tie. And Nicole will be sharing those cupcakes with fiancé Jared. I've been involved in the wedding process. While well, she's been busy, I've actually been getting everything organized. Jared really wanted our venue space. It is in an industrial setting, but I also like the idea of it being a little less traditional. I've been a bridesmaid several times, and I decided for my own wedding that I didn't want bridesmaids. For my wedding, I'm having five bridesmaids. You're not going to be doing much. You just going to come and stand and look pretty. This is Ehi. She'll be taking flight at her $35,000 nuptials. We have a few wild factors in place. We have the helicopter landing and takeoff, which should be a huge surprise to the guests. Because my fiance used to work with an aerospace company, we're having an aerospace themed wedding. We're having my friends dressed up as air hostesses. When my guests arrive, they get a passport cover, and in that, they have the itinerary of the entire day. My mom got the passport covers from me from Nigeria. Adi and I have been assembling them. I really like things to look beautiful. It has to look like an actual wedding. And he's co pilot for her big day is fiance Ade. The only thing is she goes over the budget all the time, but women always do that. And part of that budget will go to food from Ehi's homeland of Nigeria. We have an African dishes that you may never have heard of before, but they're all tasty. You just have to be bold enough to try it. I really like fancy wedding decors. I don't like simple. I prefer simple and elegant decor. My decor is French elegance. The lace, the white, simple. Bride-to-be Nadine is keeping things elegant and understated for her 15 grand wedding. My venue is a yacht club, and it will be right on the bay. And then we are assembling all of the decor ourselves because we really wanted to put part of ourselves into the wedding. Well, that's beautiful. Ken and I met, and when we laid eyes on each other, it was love at first sight. The connection that we have, it's so indescribable that it eludes my mind. My wedding dress is simple. The only entertainment we have for the reception is a DJ, and I will be having about 90 people at the wedding. I'm having over 300 people at my wedding. Meet Larissa. Her $50,000 wedding will bring together two Ukrainian families. The theme of my wedding is definitely Ukrainian traditional, with lots of ethnic flares. For my ceremony, it's going to be taking place at uh, my family church. My grandparents got married there, my parents got married there, so now I'm getting married there. It's in that church that she'll marry fiancé Adrian. I feel lucky that I got a Ukrainian girl. <laughs> I think I feel luckier that I found a Ukrainian boy. <laughs> so for the groom's cake, I'm really excited because surprise. It's going to be in the design of a mug of beer because he's a big beer fan. It actually is beer flavored. I think my wedding is the one that's going to win the honeymoon because there's so many wild factors. It's going to be a poutine station, slider station, chocolate fountain, oyster shucking, a donut machine. <laughs> Holy crap. The four brides meet for the first time to check out the competition. I'd like to make a toast to four lovely ladies, each approaching their very special day. May it be all you hoped it would be and more. The brides will be awarding each big day a score out of 10 in four categories. Venue, dress, food, and overall experience. This is sweet. At the end, each contestant will have a score out of a possible 120. The bride with the highest score will be packing for paradise. First to walk down the aisle is Nadine, who's hoping to win over guests with her simple and classy style. We walk into the Yacht Club and we see a beautiful setting on the lake. It's just beautiful. I love the lakeside. It's so serene. But the first thing I notice is a lack of decor. 
there's white chairs and a few flowers. This room is decorated, but it was a little too big. I kind of wished it was more like flowers going on your Okay, this is my favorite moment. I don't always love a lace dress, but I, I absolutely loved her dress. I love that bouquet. Her bouquet was okay. Like, I'm not a big fan of, like, white on white. Welcome, and thank you for being here. Ken and Nadine wrote their own vows, and the other does not know them. Nadine, on this special day, I pledge my love to you. Since we have found each other, I have found a new meaning to life. Thank you. Really cool. They're so sweet. Kenny, some say it was written in the stars for us. All my dreams are coming true because you are by my side. There comes a tear to for me. I, well, I started to cry, and it was really beautiful to watch, so I did enjoy the ceremony. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Cheese again, cheese. These four brides have only just met, but they've agreed to attend each other's weddings to decide who's his best. There she goes. <laughs> They'll give each wedding a score out of 10 in four categories venue, dress, food, and overall experience. The bride with the highest score will win an amazing honeymoon to a mystery destination. You may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> Nadine has just tied the knot in an idyllic lakeside ceremony. After the ceremony, we go to the patio for cocktails. All right, ladies, let's go for cocktails. There was just a little table set up with, uh, I had like maybe four or five platters of food. It's kind of like slim pickings. Nadine's adobes consisted of a lot of cheese, or cheese, blue cheese. I'm have some cheese. Yeah, I'm down for cheese. I wish there was plates, though. There were only napkins. <laughs> we had to sort of eat with our fingers, and that was a little awkward. It's a little messy, but yummy. And then they had their favorite wine. She had red and white wines. And I tried both. Absolutely tasty. The brides make their way from the patio into the reception. It's pretty frou-frou here, so hoping for some fancy stuff, definitely for the food. I am looking forward to seeing the Dean's Duchess of the Court. The reception is located inside the Yacht Club. This is sweet. Okay. The room is decorated very simply. It, it was just a bunch of tables, and then there was a head table at the front. What do you think of the centerpieces? I think it's brilliant for someone that did herself. They had the three floating candle centerpieces, which was nice, with flowers in it. It was very simple, but nice. They were lovely. They were safe. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the first time our bride and groom. And they went straight into their first dance. The first course is cream of mushroom soup. Ooh, look at that. The presentation was was up here. The soup was mushroom soup. It's not like, you know, some sort of hoochie choochie soup or something. It's okay. The second course was organic salad mixed greens with a balsamic vinaigrette and it had dried cranberries, some pine nuts, goat cheese. Cheese, goat cheese, again, cheese. All right, let's dig in. Let's get it. What dressing is this? Balsamic. It's nice. I like it. It's well done. chicken with roasted potatoes and steamed vegetables. It was stuffed with something too. Yeah. It's cheesy deliciousness. Oh my gosh, we're cheesing all the way today, eh? Yeah. It was a little too much cheese for a date. Chicken is well done. I think it exceeded my expectations. 
expectations for this venue. We, Larissa and Ahi are talking about how the food exceeded their expectations, and I'm just keeping my mouth shut. The dessert is ice cream filled crepe. It was a, a twist on apple pie. My first impression was wow, it was well done. This looks really nice, actually. Ice cream crepe? Actually, nothing. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Nadine, you look beautiful. You are beautiful. I love you. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Will Nadine's simple and elegant day win her an extravagant honeymoon in the lap of luxury? The guest brides have given her marks out of 10 in four categories. Dress, food, venue, and overall experience. Her total remains a secret for now, but here's a sample of her scores. I would give Nadine's food a 7.5. Nadine's food was good, however, I thought it was nothing really spectacular about her meal. I give Nadine's venue a 6.5. It was a nice yacht club, but I expected it to be higher class. There wasn't anything really fancy or embellished to it. I'm gonna give Nadine's dress an 8 out of 10. I loved the beading on it and the flowers, and she looked beautiful. Coming up, fasten your seatbelts. I didn't think there'd be pie plates in her centerpieces and crashing toy planes. There's turbulence ahead. What is this? <laughs> Emergency landing? What's going on? These four brides have gone from being total strangers before the competition to being guests at each other's weddings and rating which one is best. Okay, this is my favorite moment. Each bride is judged in four categories. Venue, dress, food, and overall experience. When it's all over, only one bride will win a dream honeymoon to a magical destination. It's Ehi's turn to say I do, and she's planning to wow her guests with big surprises and exotic African food. I am anxious to see whether Ehi is going to pull off this aerospace theme. It's a risky one. I'm also looking forward to some of the fun food that she might have as well. Thank you. Wow, oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. So we walk into the ceremony. There's a gazebo down by the water, and there are hanging flowers. It's very pretty, Karen. I see white chairs with pink sashes, and everything just tied in lovely together with the backdrop of the water. I think these ladies are part of the decor as well. Aki has girls dressed up as flight attendants as part of her wedding party. I know it was part of her aeronautical theme, but they kind of look like Halloween costumes. Oh, I'm really slow. They're flight attendants. Oh, I just got it. Her bridesmaids are wearing a light pink chiffon flowy dress. Simple but elegant. Iggy comes down the aisle and she looks sensational. Her dress is fitted at the top and then drops down to a flare at the bottom with the ruffles. She really looked amazing in it. She has a killer body. She probably could wear a garbage bag and look amazing, so it really is not even fair. I, I can share, accept you as my wife. I will love you and cherish you. I, a human Sonia, today accept you as my husband to have and to hold. I will cherish and obey you for the rest of my life. I don't think they kissed. I would have liked to see a first kiss. The wedding party um, danced up the stairs, but we didn't know where to go, so we just found our own space. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! A helicopter flies in from nowhere. I'm thinking, what is this? <laughs> Emergency landing, what's going on? <laughs> we weren't sure if they were going to take pictures in front of it, if they were going for a ride. Oh, maybe they are going somewhere. That'd be hard in a wedding dress. <laughs> I'm thinking, is she going to come back? Because I think we need the bride at this reception. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> I have no idea where they went, but they returned about 45 minutes later. Wow, they're back! Wow! <laughs> so 
So before we enter the reception hall, we received a passport that said the agenda for the night. I thought it was a great idea. Wow, look at the table. Ahi's color scheme is silver and pink. The tablecloths are silver. They're quite lovely. The head table was pretty simple. I thought maybe it'd be more of a splash because Ahi seems so elegant and so fancy. Look at the uh, center. I know, the center is just a plate inside. The centerpieces are tall with sand and candles and a little miniature like airplane. The toy airplanes look like they're crashing down and in flames. <laughs> the only thing I'm not so crazy about is the tin. Yeah. <laughs> Once the bridal party have made their entrance and worked up an appetite, it's time for dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I'm sure we are all starving. We have a full buffet outside, so we shall start with table number one. We are really surprised when we find out it's a buffet. What table are we eating? That's okay, because there's like 16 tables, so we're going to... We wait. <laughs> I prayed for food. <laughs> At that point, someone came up to our table and offered to take us to the buffet. Once you're ready, just let me know. I'm going to eat you. Okay. We walk into the buffet and it smells delicious. And the food is all Nigerian. I'm not afraid to try because I'm like hot and spicy. Oh, you want to waste my hand? Well, uh, get take stuff and I'll tell you how it is. Okay. I'm okay with spicy food, so I'm doing okay. But the two girls beside me are cracking me up. Oh my god. <laughs> they can't handle spice. I'm still hungry, and I go back up for some bread, salad, and some plain rice. That's plenty. I think so. <laughs> Caesar salad, white rice, and buns. <laughs> Ehi and Ade cut their cake. But that's not all for dessert. We are the first ones into the dessert bar. There is fresh fruit, meat pies, and sausage rolls, and fried dough dumplings. The wedding cake, cheesecakes, and cupcakes. The cheesecake is really good. Flare, smoke, bright light. The highlight of the evening is Ahi and her friends do this choreograph dance. It's almost like a flash mob. They have these flashy sunglasses on, and they know a whole bunch of choreographed steps. How did they remember all this? <laughs> This already went well. I thought it went really well. I really loved it. I liked my entrance. I loved the helicopter ride. It was absolutely beautiful. Well, I first saw my bike coming down the aisle, I thought I just saw an angel. No, that right. <laughs> Will Ehi be taking off on a magnificent honeymoon? The guest brides give her scores out of 10 for her food, dress, venue, and overall experience. Her total will be revealed later. But for now, here's a preview. I give Ahi's venue a six. Her decor should have been more elegant. I didn't think there'd be pie plates in her centerpieces and crashing toy planes. I give Ahi's food a four because the buffet is just too spicy. We didn't have anything to eat. I couldn't eat anything. I give Ahi's dress an 8.5. She could wear anything and look amazing. However, the top really was too big. Coming up. Kid friendly and grown up approved. The 11 year old did a fantastic job on that cake. Four brides signed up for a competition having never met. Now they're attending and judging each other's big days to decide which one is best. Oh my god. <laughs> They'll award scores out of 10 for dress, venue, food, and overall experience. When it's all done, only one bride will win an incredible luxury honeymoon. Nicole's next to tie the knot. She's confident her industrial venue and unconventional touches will impress. I am most looking forward to seeing Nicole's cake because I really think that it could go extremely good or not good. I think she's got a really high fancy location and I think that should uh, be raise the bar. I think that it's going to be a beautiful day and we'll see how it goes. 
everything to the ceremony, and the decor for the ceremony is very simple. I like the decor. It's gorgeous. They have a kofa set up and some chairs for the guests. And some really nice planters outlining the ceremony space. Cute. Nicole comes down the aisle and she looks absolutely stunning. That's beautiful. So happy. Nicole's dress has a sweetheart neckline and then it drops down into a beautiful skirt. I wasn't crazy about the flowers on the bottom part, but otherwise, I think it did suit Nicole. Welcome, everyone, to this blessed and sacred union of Jared and Nicole. Pare at mikudeshet li betevaat zo kat kedat moshe b'Yisrael. Pare ata mikudash li betevaat zo kedat moshe b'Yisrael. The ceremony is very new to me. I've never been to a Jewish wedding, and I thought that it was a beautiful service, and I really enjoyed it. After the ceremony, the bride and groom danced down the aisle. It was very energetic, very boisterous. She seemed really happy. We walk into the reception, and you see a really nice industrial motif. There are Chinese lanterns hanging from the ceilings. Beautiful sets of pieces made of fresh flowers. I was surprised that there wasn't more decor on the walls or more of the building. I would have liked to see more draping, more white, more wedding colors. They've taken in the decor. Now to take in some appetizers. That's really good. I really like the idea of macaroni at a wedding. There's more stuff. They're also serving sliders and sweet potato fries. I'm personally not a fan of sweet potato fries, but I did try the slider and it was really tasty. I tried the sweet potato fries and I was really, I love sweet potato fries. We also tried uh, Vietnamese salad rolls. They were, they were good too. The bride and groom entrance is stunning. It was extremely boisterous. They were dancing and having a great time. It was really nice to see. So suddenly the entire room is dancing. Dancing around them in circles and holding hands. And then all of a sudden they're in chairs and they're going up in the air. Nicole looks petrified. Now that the bride and groom have chairs, it's time for everyone to sit down to dinner. The salad is served. Thank you. It's a mixed green salad with a raspberry vinaigrette, a filo dough with uh, warm goat cheese, and candied walnuts. So this is the goat cheese. Yeah. We had our choice of meat and entree, and I chose to have the halibut with a carrot reduction and couscous. This is really good. Everything was really good. The couscous was great. This was just good. Check it out. It's good. This is stuff with has spinach, onions, and vegetables. The chicken was tender. It was really good. That is a trio. It's mainly chocolate. There's a brownie square. There's a tiramisu and the chocolate cake with fruits on the side of it. That looks good. Out of all of dinner, my favorite was the brownie. I could just eat that all day. The presentation was really nice with the trio, but I just, the flavors didn't really come through. The wedding cake is tiered cupcakes and a cake on top. It had a really cute tuxedo and a veil. The 11-year-old did a fantastic job on that cake. We find out that there is a sweet table in the next room. And we find gelato ice cream. What are those? It looks like homemade chocolate. Oh, yeah. There's chocolate-covered popcorn, milk chocolate, white chocolate, and dark chocolate. That's my little baby. And it ends up being a party favor. There's bags for us to take it home in. I've had the best night. And... 
and um, I'm going to have the best future, so it's wonderful. It was a great evening, great people, great food, great party. Uh, it's really, really exciting. Will the guest brides eat up Nicole's unique style and send her away with the honeymoon? Their total scores for her venue, dress, food, and overall experience are still to come. But here's a sneak peek at her numbers. I give Nicole's venue a 7.5. The space was really unique. The decor could have used more flowers, more candles, just something bigger. I gave Nicole's for the 7. I like those gerbs very much, but I was not a big fan of dinner. I give Nicole's dress a 6.5. I thought it really fitted her body well, but I didn't like the flowers going down her dress. Coming up, eat. If you eat this, you are going to gain 17 minutes. Drink and be merry. And they were kicking everywhere. And... These four brides went from being strangers before the competition to attending each other's weddings and judging which one is best. That's really good. Each big day is judged in four categories. Venue, dress, food, and overall experience. When it's all over, only one bride will win an amazing honeymoon to a mystery destination. Last to wed is Larissa. She'll be treating her guests to a taste of Ukrainian culture and entertainment. She spoke about a lot of entertainment for this evening, so I'm looking forward to that. I think she's a very traditional bride, so I'm, I'm expecting a lot of cultural Ukrainian elements. We walk into the church, and my first thought is, this is very historical. It's huge. Yeah. The church is very lovely. It's very ornate. And we see this beautiful chandelier on the ceiling. That's a big chandelier. <laughs> I like the bridesmaids' dresses. The bridesmaids' dresses are teal, and they're nice knee-length dresses. And they have a little shawl on. Larissa and Adrian come down the aisle together. I've never seen that before. It's my pleasure to welcome you today to this wonderful marriage ceremony. Larissa's dress is a long and flowy dress. Feet head up into the waist and it flies out. It's a very elegant satin dress with embellishments on the waist. The dress looked really nice on her, but I'm not a fan of all satin. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Take you, Larissa. Take you, Larissa. To be my wife. Be my wife. I will love you. I will love you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Hi, Larissa. Hi, Larissa. Take you, Adrian. Take you, Adrian. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will love you. I will love you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Saboyu Boju Larissa you. The priest puts crowns on Larissa and Adrian's head. They remind me of Adam and Eve and what they would have worn. They were actually quite cool. The ceremony finishes, we walk into the reception hall, and I think, banquet hall! Very typical. table is not one tier it's two tiers the backdrop is silver very shiny there is a half silver overlays on her table glitter sparkles everywhere <laughs> i like the silver i do like all the silver and how it matches over at the head table it's yeah. pretty the centerpiece has a clear vase with fresh flowers however it has peacock feathers shooting out of the flowers the peacock flowers scare me a bit peacock feathers look like eyes looking down at you so that sort of freaked me out larissa and adrian walk in and they are just glowing she was waving her bouquet around and just having a great time group of dancers comes out. They are very flexible. They are like acrobats and they were kicking everywhere and it was a lot of fun. They did a good job. I didn't know the symbolism behind it other than it was just for fun. Thank you. The first course is a shrimp chowder and a nice pastry odor. I like the presentation of it. It was very creamy. It had lots of seafood in it. 
I don't know what this is made of. It's a puff pastry. It's tasty. It's like, if you eat this, you are going to gain 17 minutes. <laughs> Next comes a mushroom risotto and a ricotta cheese and spinach stuffed pasta. The risotto was bony in the middle. The rice almost tastes like it's not properly cooked. The main course is a very thick piece of beef, let me tell you, and a piece of chicken. Two meats on one plate, very overwhelming. And a nice medley of vegetables and potatoes. My favorite part was the salad. It was very plain, but the dressing was delicious. I like that. It's very fresh. I like the beef. I would like it if it wasn't so thick. I really like the chicken. However, it was not too big on the stuffing. The beef was okay. I didn't like the fact that it wasn't well done. I like my beef really well done. Dessert is a trio. There's a chocolate-covered strawberry. There is a creme brulee. And there is a big honkin' piece of cheesecake right in the middle. This cheesecake is good. The cheesecake was bland. And I did not try my chocolate-covered strawberry. I was just too full. I didn't really want dessert at that point. <laughs> just when we thought we were done eating, there is a buffet that is bigger than the biggest house I've ever seen. All this food, oh my goodness. There's tons of tables of food. It is filled with lobster, all sorts of seafood. There's a donut station, there's a cake station, there's a fondue station. Nicole, if I get any more food, I am gonna puke. I really, really felt sick, but not too sick to try a piece of lobster. <laughs> It's so fun. Oh, it's just fantastic experience. The most beautiful bride on the planet. Don't cry. <laughs> Will Larissa's Ukrainian festival of food have her dining in paradise? The guest brides have dished out their scores for Larissa's venue, dress, food, and overall experience. Her total is coming up, but here's a taste of her numbers. I give Larissa's food a 6 out of 10. It was just too heavy for me, and there was just way too much. I give Larissa's venue a 7. I think she she managed to pull off a nice decor. However, I didn't like the, the peacock feathers shooting out of the vases. I give Larissa's dress an 8. I think her dress fit her beautifully, and I think the sparkle was great for her. Coming up, which one of these four brides will win a luxury honeymoon? I'm obviously going to be ecstatic. Everybody would want a free honeymoon. Oh. Each of these four brides thinks her wedding was perfect, but only one of them will walk away with a luxury honeymoon. I hope that I win the honeymoon vacation. I feel like I did what I set out to do with my wedding and I accomplished my vision. I deserve to win because I put in my best into it. It was a lot of work for us. It was a lot of um, attention to detail. I had a really great time. It was that really good mix of being intimate and really having the fun factor that I wanted. I would definitely say my wedding, the way it is, is the best wedding in the group. We had something for everyone. I definitely had so much more food and just anything you wanted, it was there. The brides have awarded each wedding a score out of 10 in four categories. Food, venue, dress, and overall experience. Oh, the points are added up for a score out of 120. The four brides get together one last time to find out who is the winner. I think we're all nervous and excited, but I think we'll all be happy for whoever wins. To four beautiful brides and four wonderful weddings. Honestly, at this point, my biggest competition was the other three girls. You never know, right? Larissa, I thought the Ukrainian dancers at your wedding were so talented and so entertaining. Larissa's probably my biggest competition. She had a grandiose wedding. There was a lot of entertainment. And we also, of course, loved the helicopter that arrived. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Ahi's wedding was fun, and everything was in one place, so that was really nice. Nicole, the people were amazing at your wedding. I thought everyone was so warm and friendly. Everybody was so nice. I think Nicole is my biggest competition because she had a really a good wedding. It was a little bit different than everyone else's, so I think that gave her a little bit of an edge. And Dean, I absolutely loved your food. It was so tasty. It was just really good. Really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Well, ladies, I think it's time to find out who the winner is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cheers and good luck. Cheers.
often walks through the door is going to be surreal. It'll be so exciting. It would just be amaze balls. I would be completely blown away. I would be really excited. I'm obviously going to be ecstatic. Everybody would want a free honeymoon. It's going to be sweetie. <laughs> and I'll be so excited. It's a tie. Ahi and Nadine, it's up to you guys to decide who wins. Oh, wow. So we found out it was a tie. The two guys walked in, and then they said that the two other ladies had to decide who was going to win. I was stunned. <laughs> you guys go and talk. Oh, Ahi, what a situation. I know. This is going to be really tough. We went through all the four criteria. The food, the venue, the experience, and the dress. Larissa's dress versus Nicole's dress. Larissa pulled off a really nice dress. So we think Larissa on well, the dress. Maybe. On the dress, Larissa. We were both very pressured. We did not like that predicament at all. Nicole's event space was great and very unique for a wedding. I would give Nicole the event for sure. It's a really top position. You have to decide if someone goes to honeymoon or not. Good. Larissa had good food and she had a lot of food. The only thing that kind of turned me off about Larissa's food was I felt like it was a little too much at some point. We felt that they were both obviously worthy of the honeymoon. Experience. I never felt like I was bored. That's kind of where I'm leaning. What do you think? No, I'm going to have to agree with you. Came to a very fair, honest, and objective conclusion. Well, I think we have a winner. Oh, yes, we do. It was really difficult to walk back into the room because it was a close competition. and tie-breaking entertainment scoop the prize with 87 points. Nicole is the runner-up. With her unique industrial venue and high-energy party, she also earns 87 points. Coming in third is Nadine. Her beautiful waterfront ceremony and top-notch food bring in 82 points. And in fourth is Ehi. Her helicopter flight and flash mob wow. And she scores 76 points. Thank you. Let's see where we're going to go. Congratulations. Prepare for an exotic destination across the globe. Walk barefoot on the pristine coral sands. Swim in aquamarine waters and enjoy lush lawns and tropical gardens. In the Seychelles... Oh, my God. Girls, thank you. Definitely felt a lot of pressure. It was very, very, very tough. It was a hard decision, but I think that we came to the right one. I learned so much from all your cultures, and thank you so much for sharing it with me. I have now come in officially second place. It's really hard not to take it personally, but I know it was probably a very difficult decision for them. I'm happy for Larissa. It was a very fun experience, and I'm happy that she gets to go. We won, I, I can't believe it. It's, it's just unbelievable. I'm so excited. I'm just so humbled by the events, and it's, I'm so looking forward to, to this honeymoon. It's gonna be great. Totally amazing. I can't believe it. I know. Wow. <laughs>